everybody I'm back hello <laughs> today's video is actually gonna be a um, how I stretch my hair so, I actually just came from washing my hair so my hair is freshly washed I don't have any products on it at all um, what I use to wash my hair because I know some people ask me um, I use this this is the cream of nature argan oil from Morocco so sulfate free moisture and shine shampoo and that's what I use to actually shampoo my hair. All right guys, so let's just get into this tutorial and let me show you how I stretch my hair without heat. All right, so after I um, wash my hair, I actually separated my hair in the shower into eight twists. I do that to help me manage with detangling and um, to keep it a little bit stretched while I'm in the shower. So my hair is in eight sections already. I, I have finger detangled my hair, but it's not thoroughly detangled. I'm gonna take a section and unravel it. Again, this is freshly washed hair. I didn't do anything to it. It's a little bit stretched. That's why it looks a little looser because it's been in this twist for about um, three hours since I washed my hair. Yeah, I let it air dry for about three hours. So that's why it looks a little more stretched than it would. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my leave-in conditioner. I like to use the Cream of Nature Argan Oil 7-in-1 Leave-In Treatment. I feel like this actually gives my hair a lot of slip to be a leave-in. It's kind of creamy, so it comes like kind of looks like that. I don't know if you can really see that. My light is kind of bright, but uh, I like it because it definitely leaves my hair feeling all of the seven things that it says it's supposed to do. <laughs> all right, so I'm, I'm almost out, so I'm gonna have to like force it out. The thing I do is I actually use a shea butter mix, and I actually really like this one from Alake Naturals. It's called the Shea Yogurt Hair Moisturizer. And I really just use I don't know. Is that like a I don't know. I use about that much. <laughs> and I warm it up in my hands. And I just distribute it all throughout my hair strands. And actually, I kind of do notice a difference in how elongated it looks just smoothing this through my hair. It kind of weighs it down a bit. So I'm going to split it up into two sections because it makes it easier for me to kind of like comb through my hair that way. And I'm going to gently um, comb through this section, starting at the ends. and then just go ahead and twist this section put a lot put a good amount of tension on it without without it hurting basically you're trying to make sure that it's not hurting your actual head or it's not tight um, to the point where your hair feels like it's pulling out And if for some reason it is too tight, you just have to go ahead and rotate the ball in the opposite direction that you just twisted it in and it will loosen up. All right, so now that all my Bantu knots are done, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and let this air dry, okay? Now, if for some reason you cannot let your hair air dry overnight or you know, for however long your hair usually air dries in Bantu knots, my suggestion would, would be use something like a hooded dryer or something like this 
where it's like a more um, accessible or you can, you can kind of move around a little bit more. Um, how I generally do it is I just put this over my head, turn on my air dryer, I mean my blow dryer, air dryer, turn on my blow, uh, turn on my blow dryer, put it in this little hole, and then air, go ahead and um, fills up that area and it will actually dry your hair. So let me um, take down my um, Bantu knots and kind of show you how stretched my hair got. So I take them down by twisting them in the opposite direction that I put them in. And I just pull them down. So now that all my twists are down, you can kind of see the stretch, stretchness, oh, <laughs> the stretchiness, I don't know, the length that I have on my hair. I'm just going to pull, see if I can move some out of the way. I'm going to pull one apart and kind of show you guys that there is no curl. There's a little bend in my hair, but there's really no tight coil in my hair any longer. And how I'll get rid of this little bend if maybe for some reason you don't really like it that much. Just kind of finger detangle it and just separate your hair. It's already been detangled with your either your wide tooth comb or your Denman brush so you don't need to worry about that. You just gotta finger detangle it to kind of get that to get that texture out. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye!